make sure that not only you go to the polls, you make sure that everybody goes to the polls. I'm truly honored to have his support, and with your help, I hope to work with him as a colleague in the United States Senate. Please welcome the Senator Bart I am going to do everything that I can to make certain that Donald Trump is not elected president of the United States. And one of the differences between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump is on the very important issue of Citizens United. Secretary Clinton told me just a couple of weeks ago that within the first 100 days of her presidency, she will offer a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United. And in one day, one day, Donald Trump did more to make my point than I did in a year and a half. But I, Donald Trump, and my fellow billionaires, we don't have to pay any taxes at all because we got the middle class and working families of this country paying taxes. Not only is he going to lose this election on November 8th, but after that, he and his friends are going to start paying their fair share. What the scientists tell us is if we are not aggressive in transforming our energy system, there will be more drought, more flood, more extreme weather disturbances. Obviously, there'll be more international conflict because people around the world are going to be fighting over limited natural resources. Secretary Clinton and I are in absolute agreement that we need to invest very, very heavily in sustainable energies like wind and solar and geothermal. It is not a radical idea to say that in the United States of America today, if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be living in poverty. We need to raise the minimum wage to a living wage, in my view, $15 an hour. All over the world, governments understand that when a woman has a baby, she must have the right to stay home with that baby, to nurse that baby, to love that baby, to know that baby, should not be forced to go back to work as is the case right now in the United States after one week or two weeks after birth. There is no rational economic reason why we pay the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. People are dying because they can't get that medicine. We need a health care system which guarantees health care and prescription drugs and dental care to all people. We are moving toward an oligarchic form of society. And that means that not just a handful of billionaires control our economy, they are now in the process of purchasing the United States government. We can defeat them, but we cannot defeat them if people say, oh, politics is all crap, I don't want to get involved. We need your energy. And again, we need your energy big time in the next week. We need your energy the day after this election. Let's defeat Trump, let's elect Maggie Hassan, let's elect Secretary Clinton. Let us, most importantly, transform this country. Thank you all.